Good evening, viewers, and welcome to another Calypso Showcase. Our very special guest tonight is Owen Reyes Johnson, the Scrunter. Good evening, Scrunter, and welcome. Thank you. Well, the name Scrunter, how did you get it? Uh, the name Scrunter came through my family. Yeah, because my mother had have nine children, six boys, three girls. And everybody was, you know, they went to high school, they have all the subjects, who is police, who is nurse, who is teachers, chemists, whatever. And I was just around, you know, doing a trade and hustling around, you know. Mm -hmm. And when I do intend to get involved in Calypso, I say, well, look, I'm looking for a name, you know. I think it's going to be a suitable name for me. Because <laughs> yeah. you always had to be yeah, out there. I always had to be out there hustling, you know. <laughs> so I get to take it by that name. So you come from a family of nine. What nine. kind of family do you have? For me, I have six kids. How many boys, boys, how many girls? Four boys, two girls. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, 1992 has been a good year for you? 1992 was a good year, sort of. You know, sometimes middle age changes up and down, you know. Mm -hmm. Fun and thing. Well, I know you've been spending a lot of time at a particular location. So let's, let's go there now, and when we come back later, We'll talk to some of your fans on the telephone. A trip up to the forest in San Gregani was necessary to do this week's guest on Calypso Showcase. And the ambience is a beautiful one. One feels at peace with nature in this setting. And it's interesting that there'll be a pork dance fete on Saturday the 19th of December here at the forest, home of the Squinter. What is a pork dance fet? A pork dance is a, a dance with a difference. The only spot you go around and find a, a live pig. Mm -hmm. And how do you get it? Well, you have played 25 cents a chance. <laughs> when, when I had pork record, the record, I want a piece of pork, I decided to launch the record here and we call it the pork dance. Through that name, it stay and it come an annual thing now. This is the fourth year. Do you know why we have come up here? We want to find out everything about the Squanta. And uh, where were you born, actually? I was born in Bata, yeah? Under on 312th Street. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been living in San Grande? So I'm a little boy. Mm -hmm. My mother came up here. Have you talked about Squanta the hunter? Have you been hunting from a child? Yeah, I could put it, sir. Hunting small animals from the beginning, you're catching birds, you're hunting squirrels, you're bushing and out fishing, doing this thing. Then we have, um, we start hunting, I start hunting when I was 17, doing serious hunting, going out with the older men, you know, in the forest. But in the forest is the best place a man could be, you know, to see different things and get different ideas about nature especially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was it there that your, your first ideas for Calypso came from? Not really. I started Calypso since school days. Mm -hmm. Something I always like uh, listening to Sparrow and Kitchener and this well as Terra and uh, all these things listening and sometimes the way they, they run the lines, I could have tell you what word he was going to use, you know, like a poetry something. Mm -hmm. I said, well, it wasn't a big thing and I started trying, singing. Then I started entering competition in Sandy Grand in Ascot Cinema. One crown about three times, then I decided to go in town. What's the first Calypso you ever put together? Right. The first Calypso I put together was we you catch your cold and blow your nose. Mm -hmm. yeah. How far, how far up was that? That was in this, what, 75? Mm -hmm. Yeah, about 75. Or, um, we had a guy, our teacher, teacher John Homer. He was the president of the CDC out here. And he was encouraging all you know, you used to come out and try to take part in Calypso competition. He said, well, look, well, I mean, you know, I, I live outside, I don't think, well, look, write a song and come, big price. Everybody write a two songs and we went. Mm -hmm. And so I like, started going from there, you know, I never looked back. Well, the first time that I saw this quanta was in 1979, and most people always think your career started in 1980, but let's talk about the professional start of your career in 1979. In yeah, 79, I was um, Princess Building with Kitchener. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Poza took me to Princess Building and I started singing. 
Sang refers here. What was the name of that tune? You remember? Horn. <laughs> Why remind us Horn, the man? Mm -hmm. I always ask my grandmother that question, you know, and she's showing you where, you know, sometimes you say women bad, but the day they're really bad is the fault of the men, most times. Because a man will have to leave life at home and go out and gamble and be playing cards three for weeks, you know. Every weekend you keep doing that, she'll get fed up one day and look for somebody else. Mm -hmm. Eventually you say the woman bad, she's bad. Mm -hmm. So that was the, the, the topic of the song, you know. Didn't you also sing a tune called Action Titan that year? Uh, where the action is. Where the action is. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> where the action is, yes, boy. Where the action is. I remember that. You remember any part of that as well? Mm -mm. Yeah. Amazing, eh? Yeah. I remember part of the chorus. You go, you're loving. You go, you're sitting. Where the action is. Okay. You say, you go, girl, you're loving. You go, girl, you're squeezing. Where the action is. Oh, boys, cause I do fast, I want to play with my man. Where the action is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Where the action is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Where the action is. If you see me with me, baby, on a salvatore, but it's when going to the savannah, I start to gallery. It was no big thing for me to take her to the city as a Lego party. I am a stranger to this country, I'm going to take you this. Where the action is? She say, you go get your loving, you go get your squeezing. Where the action is? Oh, boys, come to do fast. I want to play my man. Where the action is? She said we had time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where the action is? You know, to a lot of us who listened to you that year, we felt this guy has some promise. Uh -huh. But you already came out double barrel the following year in 1918. Oh, yeah, because I got the feel of the tent and the, the, the atmosphere in town, you know. I say, ah, oh, boy, when I listen to the last thing, and people chain me and call me back with the action. Is. I, say, I say, well, this year they're dead, next year is trouble. <laughs> you know, I just wanted a feel of what happening, you know. So, I went, um, I had a friend in Alexis in New York now. I think he was one of the biggest footballers in New York, in mm -hmm. New York, yeah. You know Alexis? He's been catching my tent all the time. He took me to um, Andrew Boyce, Kino Club, mm -hmm. and Sting take the number and woman on the base and they decided to record me. They took me to Atta Dakota, DC, and that was it. I read somewhere where, you know, for woman on the base, you actually s uh, said in an interview, you had never even been in the Savannah that year. You didn't even no, see a woman on the no, base. No, no. So how did you get the idea? See, Karim said imagination. You know? Once you could write that story, a poetry, you know, I think you should have a problem with that. Now, um, you listen to the news and you read the media and you listen to people who was in town, you know. Mm -hmm. I went in town, but and this person was doing his band pass on the street. And and beside that, um, when, when in 79, when I was with Clyde Bradley, he used to play music in Kitchener at those days, I asked him, I said, um, shall we make a bass, man? Is that when you want us to be bass? He said, yeah, boy, there was a little Indian girl in this one. I said, all right. <laughs> I said, well, case closed. Once you have a little woman beating bass in this one, I said, well, you could have a bass woman too. We could put our woman on the bass next year. <laughs>
for take the number uh, yes that was the controversy the hindu priest mm -hmm. when the police held him and think for the looking for this man who only raping little children or whatever it is mm -hmm. and he, you know it's a while home uh, the um the neighbors talking you know, then tell my daughter already when she when she taking the car to go to school make sure she take the number you know so the police will find out in case anything happens yes that's all the idea is clear you know. mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'll take the number and the one in the base. I suppose we'll be from Kitchener right back when I reach in town. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I went to the court and we recorded the song and it was a, a real success. Yeah. <laughs> Now the following year, 1981, because all eyes were on you to see what you'd come back with, and you came up with something called the Crapo Revolution. Tell us a little bit about that. I tell you, I always like to be around the natural environment. I was in um, Matua, in Washington, by Matua River Bridge. I and a friend by the new event. Um, it could be a little later in about six, the evening, washing the garden. You hear this crap all down in the river, punak, 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 and everybody on time. You know, you know, keep like, in a rhythm. Yeah, keep in a rhythm. <laughs> Nobody is going astray at all. So I tell my friend, I say, boy, you hear me crap all down in the water? You say, what do you mean? I say, listen, go now. He said, well, I'm not here and come small. I said, no, listen, go. I said, well, you here. He said, well, you here in this crap, oh. I said, boy, you know, you read them inside and a melody, but I said, you're here in Pum Nanak. Pum Nanak. Pum Nanak. Pum Nanak. Pum Nanak. And the whole of this 
There were the people who said there was a political angle to that song. How true is that? Well, I would say it was a political angle. Maybe, maybe not. Right? So I don't really take part in politics. <laughs> <laughs> right? But um, I say inspiration, you know. Calypso don't come as messengers. They like, they feel or see something before it happens. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you understand that one. Yes, sir. Right. Because, um, in the song, when I say, imagine a couple confused at the photo, or pass out at the photo. Well, everything came to power because every bullet I'm gone through, mm -hmm. I had the photo gone through. Say, boys under the crapple spell, leave your office and whining like hell. Came mm -hmm. to pass. Right. You understand? And these are things you sang about even before they happened? Long before it happened. Mm -hmm. Imagine a crapple, confused at the photo, on a land and you try to change what the crapple arranged. That was a little surprise for people. The quality of man, a new one he dropped on us in San Fernando. Oh, yes, yes. But you remember a long time ago. The quality of man. It's a natural thing, too, because, um, all right, look, as we are talking on the Prime Minister, Eric Willem, he died. We get somebody else to take place. Chambers. Mm -hmm. Right? Chambers gone through. We had, we had um, Robbie. Right. Now we have Mr. Manning. Mm -hmm. Right. If something goes wrong with Mr. Manning, we must have somebody else in Mr. Manning's place. You could live in an exalted society, and they so say you better than me. You could have one that's good enough. Why don't we do a high amount to have none? Your status could be 10,000 feet tall, or what else are equal when you own your soul? For the moving fingers right on the wall, now, finalists in 1980 and 1981, but 82, a little peak in your career, or a big peak in your career, actually, when you became the monarch with a, mm -hmm. a double licky thing yeah. and the will. Yeah. Let's talk about that, W, because, you know, people always feel it's impossible to win the monarch title with two party tunes. Or we can look at those two tunes as two party tunes. Well, Tell us about it. Tunes, you see, but it's the story behind the song. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know this is nothing to do with the party. Party, now, this is what I find to be bad too. They tell them, um, competition night, you have to sing a serious song and, and a party song. So you have to set up your face and sing slow to be too to be serious? No. You could make a party song, but with serious lyrics. You understand? And this, I think it's so happened to chapter 8. Because um, people say, boy, you're for your they say, kitchen and the father. I don't know how people still believe kitchen and my own man. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I see the resemblance, but there's a kitchen I've no man. But your presentation on the final night of the will with Kitch coming out on stage really and, set and a nice that stage. In from you think, you know? mm -hmm. Yeah, we just decided that the same night that they show. With that bag of soccer was the chorus girls clothes in a pillowcase. <laughs> yeah, we don't know bag of they, 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 they change clothes, we had in a bag. And I fell in my hat and kitchen I had make up my kitchen had his hat and we do a thing. Mm -hmm. In you and it happened like we practiced that for the longest while. You know, it didn't work, so we did do that at the same night. And all the dance steps that you put in. Well, I like keep all watching kitchen. I like kitchen style. I like the style bad. I like the way it does put lyrics together. He just finds some words. Oh God, I don't know who he does get them words to, to, to mesh, to, to rhyme. You understand? Mm -hmm. 
something else. Kitchen is not easy. And you see what that means? For the time you, you keep telling me that kitchen is my father. All right? When my father gets old he, and if he dies, he's supposed to leave that make a will for me. This is a bad song. Let me give you an idea how I want you to dance. Look what you do! Tell us about Licky thing now. Yes, same um, Iron Man again. Mm -hmm. Exactly the same thing with the one on the bass. We are the bass man. Right. And then this guy from South, this thing about the, um, the Iron Man and Licky thing. Oh, what was his name? Um, oh. They stop singing now. I don't know him in um, Sketching Art and doing something. And That's Squeeby. He was Squeeby. Mm -hmm. Right. Squeeby. And he sing the Iron Man. I said, all right. We had one on the bass. We had. Base man, I am man, must put a giant human, some woman to play, I am too. Mm -hmm. Right? And the idea is the the yeah, the 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 yeah, the Chinese. Mm -hmm. Likiting and likiting and likiting. Okay. <laughs> Some people say winning that crown and Dimash Gra mm -hmm. is the hardest thing for your career afterward because defending your title really puts you under some pressure. Tell us about how you approached the following year. Oh yes, the following year was... Um, 1983. Was what, mm -hmm. Yeah, the milk from the best is the best. Would like to say anything about the could be that song? I say, boy, the milk from the best is the best. That is international. You can all doctors, everybody, health, where health is concerned, talking about them. The milk from the best is the best. But I try and I didn't, I didn't win. <laughs> so. There seems to have been a perception that this was a kind of a, like a, a jingle or advertisement for family planning or something like yeah, that. Did you feel so? Yes, they had, it. They, they had a jingle on it mm -hmm. for family planning. And, um, if you still hear this saying that the milk from the best is the best. So this song should this song should I keep playing all the time. Mm -hmm. All the time. All the time. But this time the people in this modern world check up on this self and move the artificial milk from the shelf. I know that some milk producers will see a crazy. 
But more as milk is the milk for me. What is it we try to hide? Whatever nature provide, leaving the original for the substitute. Breast milk we ain't have to buy, and it is most nourishing. Time we leave out all the milks in the tin. And use milk like Patsy milk, Monica milk, Teresa milk too. Even milk, Tatiya milk, Jean milk too. She claim the free code in Esther, man, why she lead is a good movie. Doctors suggest that she milk from the breast. It's the best. Now the other song you sang, a little song called Fathers. Yes, so called fathers. Mm -hmm. I think I think that is why they are genuine because some of the judges it fall in the garden, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So called fathers. So called fathers. We have some fathers who love children and all right, you know that you with a woman and she pregnant, when you got the woman pregnant, you bust it. You're gone again, you're not a scapegoat somewhere else. You'll be the next woman. You want to face it to say well you, you have a child and you'll mind the child. But let a child become a minister or something. That is the time you're looking. Let me tell you, it just happened. Mm -hmm. Them so-called fathers here in this country does well embarrass me. I would like to know why some of them ignore the offspring so. When they go out, they boast to their friends they have six and seven children. So both best with it if the child passed their way. Is the time you don't hear them say, that's my child. Look me child Jimmy is the doctor Monica is a nurse He say the last little fella In class he always comes first But when the children was in a destitute way You never used to hear them say That's me child Look me child Now, the next two years, your career seemed to have uh, dwindled a bit. Tell us what happened to you in 1984 and 85. Well, I, I think I'll always say, Calypso come like fruit trees. This year, you get mango, next month, you get tamarack. You can't be hitting all the time. Right? Mm -hmm. Everybody have the time. Not that you had bad too, no, because no, August no. Child, I thought, was a, yeah, a nice little number. It's a nice number, but then we had to think about the production and the, 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 the producers, some of the winners meet, and the type of mixing down on the record, all the, that, you know, that would be a confusion by itself. Mm -hmm. 1985, too, a nice one, Oil in the Coil. Yes, look at that, Oil, you saw people love me bad for that. Mm -hmm. Oil in the Coil is the way I'm looking, so... No. <laughs> Back on track in 1986, as Eon Corporation, which took you all the way back to the finals. How many years I went final, but it's true, you know. Well, you were in finals four years running, and then two years after in 86 and 87. We are on the finals in truth, boy. <laughs> I believe it. Um, I see it's not a bad song either, because they have it on a video, and you know, some people make a movie with it, and they had the tune playing. But I think they should have pulled me into the thing. So let everybody just sing and see you.
That was an example that went wrong there, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why some people have to involve politics in Calypso. Everybody know that Massa they done. We are no one people under the sun. One culture and similar history. One future and one common destiny. Show our nation to our height. We need cooperation from every religion, cooperation from every known association, cooperation in doing what we can learn to show God and man. We are so to Trinidad. Yeah. The following year, you had a nice little tune called Singing the, Sing the Party. Yeah, she wanted to sing the party. She wanted to sing for free. Right. Yeah, we just see what mother very so fat. And women are the week. When, when, you know, that's, that's, you know, that's talking to myself every week again. I will <laughs> She's getting fixed up on me. Women. <laughs> oh, God, I didn't know that. Yeah, what you're doing, Borat and Tom, what you're doing. They said, no, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can laugh, yeah. They send the women, they have a big show in town, and they name my child in 2005 to appear. They send a woman to me. Who got scrums with that? With that. <laughs> <laughs> Take it, man. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows that charity thing. I will take it. Mm -hmm. And when you go and you're getting the, the, the roots of the thing, your man has no, no, no hook up on that at all. So they use any woman now to come to me because they know they'll get weak. Mm -hmm. As they come to me, I say, God love. I like to call them lover. Everybody's my lover, regardless of who. I had to know your name. Lover, hello. Just, you know. I'm not happy to my hand doing it. He said, God, you know, girl, let's be lover. Hello. Hi, you know. Mm -hmm. So, Synergy Party came about that. They want this thing for free. And it is like that. That's something that I really think like Mochan really because I think Mochan came up here. We went by the riverside. 
could some go on and yaman to no cook it on how to get on that tune up you know mm -hmm. so yes this good <laughs> This lady promoter, approached me cool as ever. Say she had a show and dance and needed my performance. She said to me, we discuss it further. The next thing I see is when he won't post her. She want me to sing in she party. Hey, don't want to pay me no money. I say, darling, I can't do that. It is a gay copyright act, but still, she want me to sing it, she party. For free, but at me, no sorry. very interesting though the following year you seem to have suddenly emerged as what we call the soccer parang yeah, world match it, champion I it, man, because let me, let me explain eh? there's so much competition around this soccer team and beside the Californian bands now making this song so you getting you real problems with that show have a fit to sing in a party because even though it's on hitting the, the fellas who singing in the band singing your song so they have no use for you in other words they sing in your song. And that is a, a, is a big problem. So I think about the market. You know, I, I like business and I think about the market. I say, oh boy, long time I wanted to try a parent song, but I, I don't know how to talk Spanish. I said, I try it in English. And if they take that, all they're dead because I sing in parent song. Like, oh boy, you know, going along with your, your bamboo and your dodo and your, your motor gun and all this thing, your flute and bottle and spoon, and we're making your own parenting. Right in the room that I started with, I want a piece of pork. I love as a friend with me. Before I want a piece of pork, what about Anita? Nah, pork was first. Pork was first? Yeah, boy. <laughs> Try the pork first, you mm -hmm. see? The pork dance. That's what happened, so. Um, I think about the topic first. I say, well, from little boy, my father always have to have a pig home. And the fun in this is to hold on this pig to start it. And get the blood to make the pudding and the roast peas and you know. Mm -hmm. And all the way past, that's the only time I think I picked that be unhappy, you know. Christmas, <laughs> he worried, he wanted to know who me who call him in the next, you know. But anyhow, the, the pork is the, one of the main things, ham is pork. Pudding, you get, you have to make, use the blood, you know. I said, all right, I'll try a parent thing and I start. I want a piece of pork for my Christmas. <laughs> Thing here. I said, all right, well, they dead now because I know Parang. No one know Parang, I got to sing in Parang. I said, next year is Anita. Mm -hmm. Give TV, I give it. I said, I will have to call a woman here. <laughs> yeah, you must sing about them. You just sing about the woman here. There's something wrong. Mm -hmm. You see the hated neck? Anita.
because it's very a homey down. But this year, I hold back with pangs and there's so many different reasons. You know, Trent, I know that move very quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Boy, what happened, boy? You know, people looking out for the pangs. I have pangs, and I feel like I have them. But I start falling back on the carnival thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because second country didn't oh, want the carnival thing. Yeah, yeah, so I've gone back to the carnival. I just have uh, pangs, and when I decide to make some tapes and sell the homemade wine, I think. I hear Marshall have a medley. All I do is say, well, it doesn't make sense I bring on none because pork and eat something still going, still going strong. Yeah, still going strong. Check your ass! I'm not going to 